Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Laravel Lair tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at making vector artwork for cutting machines. So in this project, I actually want to put together a couple different things. I want to put together a vinyl iron-on t-shirt uh, using this graphic. This is Sparky, the blue, the magic blue smoke monster sticker. And I really like how these, uh, these layers here or these colors are really nice and clean. And I think this would make a great t-shirt. So I'm just going to do the main blue guy over, over here. So let's jump over to our vector editing software. For this project, I'm using Illustrator. But you could use something uh, that's open source like Inkscape, or, or rather free to download like Inkscape. So this is the graphic that we have. And uh, this was originally designed by Bruce Yan, who is the creative director at Adafruit. And what we have here is we have a couple different things. The first thing I want to do is I actually want to change this, this canvas color so that I can work with a little bit. We have some white elements here, and it's hard to, to, to know uh, if this is the canvas background, if this is an actual object, is a cutout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this by going to Document Setup over here. And then I'm going to turn on Simulate Colored Paper. And then I can change this white background color to something a little bit darker. So I'm going to go for like a dark gray like that, and then hit OK. Now there's a bug here, um, so I actually need to kind of like hide the artwork and reveal it. As you saw, I just use uh, the hand tool to kind of pan away from the canvas and bring it back, just kind of fix that bug. So now we can actually see what are the white layers uh, and what's a cutout and what isn't. So as we look at this, um, now I started naming some of the layers. So here's a good example of of the kind of shapes that you want. So I'm going to isolate just the mouth. This is a great little piece here. Um, but if we're if we're cutting this out as a layer, um, it's better if this is a cut out of a bigger shape like this blue part than actually layering a white piece of cut out over the blue layer. So you're kind of masking out uh, this to reveal the white the white area. So so just keep that in mind. Uh, the next thing I want to do is get rid of these um, these gradients here. So if you look here, we have a couple of they look like gradients, but they're actually uh, like sort of these Gaussian blur effects, and we can remove those uh, through here. So I have these uh, left eye, right eye. We have the mouth, so I'm just focusing on the head. I'll drop this down. You'll see we have a couple of different paths. This first one here, uh, I don't think I need it, so I'm just going to delete it completely by uh, hitting the trash can icon. This blue layer here, this little bit darker blue every, uh, layer, I really like it. I'm going to Control-Z it so it's back in its original position. I need to get rid of that gradient because we're going to be cutting this out. So I, I, I won't be able to do this Gaussian blur. So that's under the, uh, for Illustrator, it's under the Appearance uh, panel. And uh, you can see we have actually two Gaussian blur effects. And we can just select those and then, use, uh, and then just delete them. And then we get this solid cutout. So that's looking pretty good. All right, so now that we have our, our layers, I actually want to um, set up this uh, outer white as a black because I really like how this is a black layer. So I'll have that selected, and then I'll just change that white color to a black color like that. So that makes it black. Sweet. All right, and then I have this. This is actually not revealed. If I turn this on and off, you'll see nothing is there. But if I hide these, and you can see that there is actually a layer here, it's the exact same uh, size as the black layer, which is actually kind of nice. If you're doing paper crafts, one of the cool things I like to do is have an extra layer and then make it brown, it's like a brown color, to, just to kind of represent it being sort of like a chipboard uh, background. Uh, and this just kind of strengthens the paper craft if you are doing paper craft. If you're doing something like a t shirt, uh, with the iron-on vinyl, uh, you, you don't necessarily need this layer here. You just need the black layer. But I'm going to have it here just in case uh, I end up doing a paper craft version of him, which which sounds fun. All right, so bring back this blue layer. That looks good. This this deeper blue layer looks good too. Now for the eyes, they could be cutouts, and then I. But the problem is, I would have to sort of figure out how to position them, um, you know, reposition them. Because when I cut them out, you know, it's not going to cut it out. Uh, it's going to make it as a solid shape. So what I need to do is I actually need to cut this solid shape away from these blue layers. But first, I need to kind of modify these eyes. So if we take a look at just one of the eyes, you'll see that it is composed of different things. So you see this eyebrow is is not merged with this white layer here. And if I get rid of, or if I just hide the eyebrow, you'll see um, what it's revealed. So this this eyebrow is also cutting 
uh, cutting away from this, uh, this circle here, which is like the pupil. So what we need to do is we need to use this eyebrow as a cutting tool to cut away from this pupil. So what I'll do is I'll do a duplicate of this. I'll copy and paste it. It gets pasted up over here, so I'll bring it back down. And then I'll hide this top one. And now I can select uh, this eyebrow and this pupil. And then what I'll do is select the pupil and then use this shape mode uh, to kind of remove that cut away, uh, basically um, kind of do a combine and merge these two together. But instead of merging them, it's actually subtracting the first layer uh, um, from the, the layer underneath it. So when I click the button, you'll see what it's doing. So it made this nice curve here and it cut that away. So if I bring back my copy of the eyebrow, you'll see that that's looking good. Now what I can do is I can combine this eyebrow with this sort of outer eyeball here. So I'll, I'll combine these two shapes together. I probably want to bring this back here. And now I can um, use this one here called Unite. This will unite the two together. So instead of subtract, subtracting one from the other, it'll combine them both and basically get rid of uh, these, these paths right here that are intersecting. It'll just merge this into one continuous shape. So let's go ahead and hit Unite. And you'll see here it got rid of those uh, internal path lines. And now I have this really clean, solid object. Another thing I want to do is I actually want to create this blue piece as a cutout for this white piece. And that way I'm just simplifying it. So instead of having to cut out this eyeball from a piece of blue uh, vinyl or paper and then layering it onto your, and, and kind of figuring out how to order uh, orient it and reposition it, I can just subtract it from the main group here. Um, so let's do that. So I'll subtract that. And you'll see that something we had a problem here, it actually didn't work right. So what I have to do is when you're subtracting, when you're using these unite and minus front, or it's more like of a subtraction, when you're using these two uh, types of uh, Boolean operations, what you want to do is you actually want to turn this into a compound, compound path. Because right now, it is a group with two different paths in it. So that's not good. Actually, you don't even really need this piece. It looks like there's this extra weird piece here that I don't even need. So I'm just going to delete that and take that out of the group. So now I can um, I can do that, that subtraction. So again, I'll select these two items and then I'll use this right here minus front because it's going to subtract the front layer from the back layer, giving us this cutout. And you can see now that it is just a cutout and it's a pretty solid shape here. Uh, it's a compound path as well, which is what we want. So if I bring back the head, you'll see exactly what's going on here. Now I'm revealing that blue color here. Um, we could reveal the lighter blue color by actually um, subtracting this shape from these two shapes over here, which we'll do in a little bit. So I'm basically going to do the same stuff we did uh, to the left eye. I'll actually name this left eye. And we'll do that to the right eye. And we'll kind of re 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 uh, recap what we did. Uh, so we want to definitely want to create a, a duplicate of the brow. So I'll copy and paste that and bring that down. And then I want to subtract this brow from this sort of pupil. So again, I'll use the uh, minus front just like that. And then I'll bring back the brow and the eyeball part. And then I want to uh, combine, I want to merge the eyebrow to the eyeball. So I will unite those. So it creates that my, my uh, unite thing. Again, it's creating that weird um, extra piece that we don't need. So I'll just delete that, take it out of the group. And then what I'll do is I'll select the two, the eyeball and the pupil, and then I'll sub do a minus front. So I'm subtracting the pupil from the eyeball. And now we have this unified thing. OK, so now I can name this right eye. And now what we want to do is we want to subtract these eyes and this mouth from uh, these, these various blue layers. So let's bring back the mouth. And if, what we'll notice is that, let me go back over here just for a second. OK, so what we'll notice that if, um, if we want to cut this stuff out, uh, I probably want to create a solid layer of this dark blue. Because what my plan is to uh, cut away uh, these details from this light blue part. So let's go ahead and make, um, I think we got enough copies of, actually, let's make one more copy of this guy here. So this is sort of the internal flame that's going, uh, that's inside of the black outline stroke. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a copy of this. 
And what I'll do with this one is I'll actually change this color to this darker blue color. Well, you can easily do that with this eyedropper tool. So I'll just click on that blue color and I'll change that as a full blue. And now what I can do is I can hide that, um, that new blue layer that we have. I'll just bring it up here for now. And what I'm gonna do, is let's go ahead and hide this facial feature, just to kind of get an idea of what we're doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract this blue shape layer that's selected. I'm gonna subtract it away from this, this, uh, this lighter blue color. So let's go ahead and do that. Have them both selected and I'll hit the minus, making sure that the tool that I wanna cut away from is on top of the layer that I want to retain. So I'll select that. And now you can see that it is indeed a cutaway so it's a cutout. So if I bring back this dark blue layer, let's go ahead and um, layer it in between the black layer and the, and the light blue layer. Now when I bring it back, you'll see that, bam, there is our blue backing layer, which looks really nice. So I got this light blue layer that gets fitted on top, this darker blue layer that's sort of in front of the black layer. Now we can start subtracting our uh, facial details from these various layers. So the first thing I need to do is um, just kind of hide this blue layer for now. I'm going to make some copies of these guys because we are going to use them uh, multiple times to cut at least two different layers. So with them selected, copy and paste them. Let's go ahead and hide them. Let's keep them in our, in, our, in our pocket, so to say. Now select this right eye and subtract it from this dark blue area. You know what we need to do? We need a white layer to actually reveal the white color, don't we? So yeah, so let's take this blue layer again, and then we're gonna do a copy, and then we're gonna make it white. So I'll just double click on that and then uh, select the color as white. There's many ways you can do that, but this is the way I'm doing it. And then I'll bring it behind the dark blue layer in between or on top of the black layer. So you can see how we have this. So let's go ahead and kind of recap here. So what we have is we have our chipboard layer, we have our black layer, we have our white layer, we have our dark blue layer, which is the same size as the white layer, and then we have our light blue layer. So now what we can do is we can subtract those eyes, those facial details away from the dark blue one to reveal that white layer. And that makes it so we don't have to position this eye, uh, we don't have to eyeball positioning the eye if we were to cut it out as an individual shape from like a white piece of vinyl or cardstock. So let's select that bring it down right on top of our blue layer, and then we're gonna subtract the two using, again, the minus front uh, shape mode. So I'll do that. It creates a nice little cutout. And there it is. You can see that it is indeed a cutout because I'm hiding the white layer. You'll wanna make this into a compound path because there is two different shapes in there now. Because uh, if we try to subtract this left eye from this group, I don't think it'll work. Let me try. Yeah, it doesn't. So what we need to do first is turn this guy into a compound path. So I'll go under help and type in compound, and you'll see we have a couple of them. I wanna make it a compound path, so I'll go ahead and select that, and that flattens it out into, an, into a, a, a path object. So it's just this one object. So now I can subtract this left eye from our dark blue layer. So let's do that using the minus front. There we go. So now if I turn on my white layer, you'll see that I'm revealing the white layer behind the blue layer. That's pretty cool. All right, so now we need to do that to the mouth. So let's bring back the mouth. Again, we need to turn this into a compound path because there's like three different shapes here. So I'll select this, come down down to my, um, my help menu, and then I'll just select the make compound path. And now I have this compound path where I can subtract this mouth from the dark blue part using unite, or actually minus front. There we go. Wait, I had to have it selected. There we go. Again, we need to make it a compound path because every time we do that subtraction, it tends to make it a non-compound path. All right, so now we have our blue layers. Um, there is one thing that we are, you'll notice that these internal pieces here, this like blue, the, um, the blue eyelids, um, those are going to have to be reassembled because when we cut this out, um, this is going to not be attached to anything because it's not contained in anything. So when you peel this layer off, um, you're going to have to reposition that. But I think that's fine. That's not too bad of an alignment issue. Better than having to do each individual eyepiece. 
Uh, so now you see as I turn on the white layer, I have to, um, it's covering uh, these cutouts here, these white areas are being covered now. So what I need to do is I need to subtract, remember we made the duplicate, we need backups of our eyes and mouth, so now I can subtract those uh, from the uh, from the light blue. And we'll probably have to make a couple compound paths each time we do this. So let's go ahead and run through this. I'll just bring these back down in here. It's kind of layering them up. All right, so now with that light blue layer selected and the right eye selected, I'll go ahead and do this minus front. We get that. Let's go ahead and do the left eye next using minus front. Then we'll do the mouth minus front. And now you can see that we're just cutting away those those little edges here. So now when we bring back the blue layer, that completes the rest of the face. And then the white layer is what reveals uh, those, those white details for the eyes and mouth. Well, that's what we got now. So now I have this shape, these layered shapes. So if we kind of pull them apart, you can get a real good look at how um, this is assembled. Um, pretty neat. So when we, when we cut them out, they're going to kind of look like this. These are individual layers. Obviously, you'll have to, you know, put these eyeball pupils back to where they came from or where they should be. But when you layer them together, you can make something pretty nice. There's, there's, um, if you just kind of line up the edges, you should be able to get the edge, the the edges to line up precisely. Uh, but that's pretty much the process. It is a little bit of a balance between um, what, how much work do I want to do in the assembly, and how much can I cut away. Um, to reveal the colors underneath the cutouts. So that's kind of how you can create these really cool uh, vector artworks. Um, so this could be, again, turned into a t-shirt. This could be a sticker. Uh, this could be a paper craft, lots of different things. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, please let me know in the comments. If you want to download this file, I'll have them linked in the learning guide that is linked in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.